Hey folks, welcome back to Todd Bosley's world famous YouTube channel. Tonight we have some very interesting coins that came in today. I'll take them out and show them to you. These are um, these are pretty much unusual. Um, although they're not extremely rare, they're pretty rare. This is a 1907 Indian head. They have a value of $25 posted on it, but it's worth quite a bit more than that. That was the first one. Now, you if you've watched my videos, you know I'm not a fan of the Littleton Coin Company. Um, however, these are older ones, and they actually kind of did okay back then. So this is an 1870 Liberty Seated. They called it a half dime back then. You can see that. We call it a nickel now. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's a good one. All right, the next one that came in was a three cent piece. This one's not too bad. A little bit worn. This was actually American money a long time ago. You can see it there, three cent piece. So that's from 1853, so not in bad shape for 1853. Not sure that one's worth grading, but it, but maybe we'll take a look at it down the road. Okay, here's a 1907 Barber half dollar. Whoops, that one fell right out. Nothing special there. 1907 Barber, Denver Mint. It's pretty good, pretty good, but not great. All right, now we have the 1910 Barber uh, silver dollar. This, or I'm sorry, the 1910 silver dollar, silver dime. That one's been worn pretty good. Anytime you see wearing like this where you don't see the details in the front, it's really not worth messing with. This is what they call one ten dime. That is definitely one ten dime right there. 1875 seated dime. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, this is a nice piece here. It's an older dime seated from 1875. And that's the back of it. It's a little bit worn, but I mean, compared to the last two things we just saw, it's not really worn that, that much. Not for 1875. I like these a lot. Seated Liberty. They're nice. They're a little getting harder to find. They're not impossible to find, but they're definitely getting harder to find. Okay, so now we're going to look at an 18, or I'm sorry, a 1914S Barber half dollar. We'll see what this one looks like. Okay, so again, we're talking about a lot of wear. You can see the face here, how the ears worn off, the hair's worn off. The back of it, when you see the black and all that, this definitely has been in circulation. This is the S, the met marks right at the bottom. The S's are most generally always better, but when this condition, I don't really think it matters. Um, there, there are some good ones that are in this this um, load, but not that one. This is a 1930S Mercury dime. They say it's very fine. Let's see what you think. Okay, there's a, what they say is very fine. I think it might actually be a little bit better than that. You can see how that looks. Look at the front. Not a whole lot of wear. Probably it would grade a little bit better than very fine. It's my guess. But you never know. When you send something in to get it graded, all you know is that you're going to spend somewhere between 50 and 75 bucks after you're done shipping it. So you got to send enough of them to make it worth it. That's what I say. Here's a 1932S Washington Quarter. Hopefully this is a good one. Oh, it's in a pack. So they've got it in, in a holder. That's good. 1932. We see the S on the back right there. That's not a bad one. I mean, it's not, it's not incredible for sure. Definitely has some wear on the hair area, the ear. It's been circulated for sure. But 
32S is still a hard one to find. So not too bad. Okay, now we're going to move to the 1906 Barber Half Dollar. Now the last Barber we saw was not too good. And here we go again. Not that great. See all the wear in here? Too much wear. And there you go on the back. So kind of just average, common, nothing, nothing really spectacular. O, now O for those of you that don't know, O stands for New Orleans. It's kind of weird that it would, they would use O because you might think of Ohio. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of other, a lot of other places in New Orleans, but that's what the O stands for. Okay, 1916S Barber Silver Dime. Take a look at this one. Okay, so Littleton is calling this one good. A lot of wear on the front. You can't see the ear anymore. It's all gone. Uh, back doesn't seem to have as much wear as the front. But yeah, probably right. Yeah. Maybe, maybe good, maybe not. Not worth grading. All right. Now, to the one that really matters right here. This is a 1909 Indian head. 1909 Indian head. Now, if you remember the story of 1909, Teddy Roosevelt became infatuated with Abraham Lincoln a long time ago. <laughs> he was in love. He had a man crush on Abraham Lincoln. This says S on the bottom, as you can see. So in 1909, Teddy Roosevelt commissioned a Jewish coin artist named Victor D. Brenham to put together a penny. And he put his initials on it, which became the VDB. I might not have said his name right, but that, that was pretty close to his name. Anyhow, they didn't make a whole lot of these Indian head pennies in 1909. Only about 305,000 of these were actually produced, or so they say. I'll tell you from my experience, I don't think that many survived because this is not a coin you see very often. So this is a 1909 S made in the San Francisco Mint. It's an Indian head. 305,000, they say. In my career in 20 years, I've probably only had... The maybe four or five of these come across the counter. They're really hard to find. This one seems to be exceptional condition for what you usually see. Now it's circulated condition, so I don't want to act like it's something it's not. But for a penny to walk across the counter like this, you just in most coin stores you won't see this very often. So to me, this is one that's probably worth grading. I don't know what it's going to grade for sure. It doesn't have a ton of wear. It's not brand new. Definitely has some issues with it. It may or may not grade plus or minus 40. You never know when you send it in. It's hard to say. But if you're a penny collector, you will understand how incredible this one is. Because most collectors, I mean, you can see them at coin shows. Don't get me wrong. But... If you're just out and about, you will never find this coin, ever. This is a really hard one to find. 1909S Indian Head. Now, we know that the VDBS, uh, there was a short run of those. I think it was under 30,000 that were made. But the Indian Head was also a really hard one to find as well. They made less VDBs in the S than they did in the Indian head, but just check that out. So that's what we have, folks. That's what came across the counter today. It was a pretty good day, although not, not a lot of it was great, but a lot of it was good. This one, I think, is pretty great, in my opinion. I'm Todd Bosley from Ohio Trading Coin and Jewelry. My number is 330-323-9775. We're located in Louisville, Ohio. We buy and sell daily. As you can see, we buy great stuff, we buy good stuff, and we buy stuff that's not that great. But one thing you can count on is that we'll give you a fair deal. We love dealing in coins, and we just love 
buying and selling them all the time. Check our prices before you sell. Um, I am I am very interested in any collection that you may have. So if you're interested in selling or buying, give me a call. This is my cell phone number. You can call or text either way, and I'll respond to you, and we'll see what we can do. Folks, thanks for watching. Check out all my other videos. We have a lot of interesting coin videos on our site. Folks, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.